Hey guys, it's Bonnet and today I'm showing you how to create these cool looking kimonos. Kimonos are in for the summer and the best way to style a basic tank top and jeans. This first one is an oversized long sleeve kimono. It's about 3 yards in length and 55 inches across. First, fold the fabric in half with the pattern facing inside. The fold will be at the top side of your item. Make sure you line everything up, especially if you have a symmetrical pattern like mine. Next, I mapped out with a pin where I'd like my sleeves to begin and how open I wanted them to be. Don't worry if you don't get what I mean, you'll see in a bit. Next, I carefully folded my fabric across again. This makes sure when I cut the sleeves out, they're the same on both sides. Here, I'm cutting them out in a slight S shape. This will give me the bat wing look I'm going for. If you're not always at handling fabric, then first tack or hand sew your front and back sleeve pieces together so nothing moves when you use a sewing machine later on. Be careful though not to sew everything together, remember it's folded. Once that's done, turn the fabric right side out. Cut straight up the middle, stopping a few inches from the top. Here, you're going to cut out a slight triangle which makes the neck. Next, you want to clean off any rough edges and that's it. If your fabric doesn't fray, then you can stop here, but I recommend you finish off by hemming everything. This next one is the short sleeve kimono. This kimono was made by sewing together three pieces, two of them with the same width, one of them shorter, but all have equal lengths. For example, one of my pieces are 27 inches in width, while the other two are 33, but all have lengths of 18 inches from top to bottom. To do this, I divided my fabric into three equally sized pieces by folding it like a brochure, then cutting along the folds. As you can see, I clearly messed this up and didn't make sure I had three equal pieces and make sure I had one piece shorter than the rest, but I still think you'll be able to follow along. Now you want to take your shortest piece and lay it down first. This will serve as the back of the kimono. Again, I messed up, I mixed around the pieces, I forgot to film the corrections, but you'll understand what I mean. Then line up the two longer pieces at the edges. These pieces will overlap. Use pins to map out where you'll be sewing. So first, that would be the top of the sleeves. At the top of the kimono, I measured 5 inches in the middle for the neck. This will be a no sew zone. Next, we have to make the sleeves. I, of course, forgot to film that part, but I'll show you on the finished product. Fold your project in half like we did with the first kimono. This time, instead of cutting an S, we're cutting a square. Pin or tack the front and back pieces just like we did in the first one. Sew it up in the machine, turn it inside out and you're finished. You have yourself a really cool kimono. And of course, if you need to, make sure you hem it. Just leaves a cleaner finish and looks more professional. Now let's take a look at the finished kimonos and stay tuned to see how I styled it. It's not a problem that I can't fix Cause I can do it in the mix And if your man gives you trouble Just to move out on a double And you don't let it trouble your brain Cause away goes trouble down the drain Said away goes trouble down the drain